Good morning, all of you. Welcome to Indian Economy class, Open and Distance Learning. Today, what we are going to discuss is impact of GST, demonetization, and digitalization. This particular topic coming under Block 3, Unit 11. Following topics are covered in this particular unit. First, let me introduce uh, the key terms like goods and service tax, then demonetization and digitalization. And let us continue with GST and its impact on Indian economy. And next to that, demonetization and its impact on Indian economy. And finally, digitalization and its impact in Indian economy. Uh, this particular unit covers these three uh, topics. And finally, we will sum up on what are the expected questions in the semester and examination. The main objective of this particular unit is to familiarize the student with the effect of GST and uh, to make the student to understand the reason for demonetization. And uh, uh, we have to, uh, to inculcate that student in digital India. So these are the three objectives of the unit. Let us get into the class. One nation, one market, and one tax was a motto of GSC, was applied in its full capacity on 1st July 2017. This move has brought 1.3 million citizens to our nation into a unified indirect taxation system. So with this basic uh, information about uh, goods and service tax, let us get into the what are all the elements involved in GST and how it impacts the Indian economy. Let us start. To understand how GST is impacted the overall Indian economy, it is better to understand why GST is applied and uh, what are its types. GST is levied on every stage of manufacturing and sales of goods and services across India. This tax is levied when the goods and services are consumed. There are three subcategories of GST. One is called CGST, that is Central Goods and Service Tax, is collected by central government uh, to interstate sale of goods and services. The second one is SGST, that is State Goods and Service Tax. This particular tax is collected by the state government to uh, intrastate sales within the state, what are all that the goods consumed, the, the respective state government will collect. The third one is called IGST, Integrated Goods and Services Tax, is collected when the supply of product and services is supplied from one state to another. The taxes collected are shared by the central government and the state government. First, we will list out what are all the positive impacts of GST. The first one is, it is a simpler tax sector. When GST, the taxation system in our country, it becomes simpler to make the tax. It is a single tax ensuring easier calculation. With this tax, the buyer gets a clear idea of the amount paid as tax when purchasing certain products. This is crucial when considering GSC and its impact on the GDP. The second positive impact of GST is more for production. Another effect of GST on Indian economy has been the reduction of the total taxable amount. This saved the fund we can again be invested back to the production cycle to foster the production. The third positive effect of GST is to support for small and medium enterprises. Based on the size of the organization, the amount of GST depends on your firm annual turnover, provided you have to be registered under the composition scheme introduced by GST. The enterprises uh, with a yearly turnover of 50 lakhs have to pay 6% GST, whereas enterprises with 1.5 gross birth turnover will have to pay only 1% GST. The next positive effect of GST is increased volume of export. When considering GST and its impact on Indian economy, 
custom duty on exporting goods and uh, goods has been reduced so now the production units save money while producing uh, goods or also while shipping them is a easier task this two way savings are uh learned in many production units to export their goods increasing the export quality too and the uh, next positive impact of uh, gst is uh, to enhance the operation throughout india with a unified taxation system the transporting goods around india has now become easy boosting the operation throughout the country the next positive impact is no more cascading effort because the gst the taxes of state and central government has been merged this has removed the cascading effect of the tax reducing the burden of the buyer and the seller so even if they we may take like a big junk in the tax we paid you the what to say you, you pay a lesser hidden taxes because there is a transparency in the tax system so these are all the positive impact of gst now let us start with the some negative impact also in the gst some of them are the first one is impact of gst on common man packet if you see the short term impact the customer now shall need to pay more taxes on goods and services they purchase a majority of essential consumables will input either the same higher amount with the tax because of the tax they will for each and every product that is some percentage of taxes there so common man is affected the benefits of gst to the common man is plentiful but the small scale traders also have to bear the cost of compliance which may raise the price of the produce affecting the consumer nevertheless in a long term gst also promises several benefits with a decrease of payable taxes for uh, producer of goods and services like fmcg the automotive sector uh, these are the sectors can reduce their price in the commodities because of the gst only this will allow the customer to pay less while trying to avail these services a drop in price will show a immediate surge of demand boosting the production cycle bringing more profit with this both the buyers and sellers get to save fair share of money eventually and the economy too uh, shall be boosted a boost in production shall also pave way for expansion leading to more employment and increased income this is not only created better scope for common man but also strengthen the economy but after all the common man is paying more tax economy is improving but common man is suffering india is rich but indians are poor the implementation of gst also implies raising an invoice of purchase of any goods and services with a proper billing system the prospects of black money and corruption shall uh, also go down these have been troubled aspect in the common man in india the third one is impact of gst on different sector in real estate the real estate contributes almost 8% of the national total gdp before onset gst buying under the construction property mean they were subject to the vat value added tax service tax stamp duty registration charges however the purchasing complete property mean only the application of stamp duty and registration charges the application of gst will reduce the amount of buying the house especially if book before the construction now the developers uh, too shall enjoy the input of credit on gst paid to the goods and services delivered to them and liability will pass on to the potential buyers so we who buying i have to pay the tax but the seller is enjoying so understand one thing the supply side is enjoying but the demand side is always suffering because of the gst then what is the impact on logistic a country as a big as ours logistic play a key contribution to the economy a well organized and structured logistic industry can grow exponentially especially under the make in india banner so uh, the gst have influenced the indian logistics then 
let us move to the impact of gst on e-commerce the e-commerce has a high growth potential however the e-commerce company shall have to bear the tax collected as the source factor for gst the another uh, field is pharma companies the pharma and the healthcare sector have also a positive impact on the gst and it's a simplified the tax structure it will also availing the tax uh, respect of uh, lieu of making the healthcare cheaper and accessible to the people of all income groups <coughs> that uh, another uh, field is telecom industry a drop of price can expected to the telecom industry uh, cost uh, of warehousing logistic everything will have the influence because it has been reduced because of the gst uh, uh, a unified tax system and uh, in case of textiles the indian textiles is one of the largest employer of skilled and unskilled laborer with the textile industry also making 10% total export of india and the number will likely increase in a removal of custom duties gst shall also affect the value of cotton and material on which the most small scale textile industry are depend these are the some of the impact of gst to a small traders which is adverse so on the whole i may say uh, for larger firm gst is uh, beneficial for small scale and the common man it is have a negative impact yeah. now let us move a few more field like agriculture and farming uh, fmgcg automobile industry and few startups in this also the gst have uh, influenced more the agriculture is the biggest contributor of india's gdp covering more than 16% and the as of logistic transportation cost of agriculture produce will go down thus the impact of gst on wholesaler has been greatly positive but for uh, ultimate consumer it is negative fmcg uh, with the gst eliminating the need for multiple sale depot uh, fmcg has saved a lot of logistic and distribution cost so it is beneficial then in case of automobile under the previous tax system several tax like excise value added tax sales tax road tax motor vehicle tax registration duty on so on which are all applicable uh, which is now replaced with a one tax called gst goods and service tax so there is no need to pay n number of your formalities get reduced the automobile price is likely to drop as a producer is saving more from the taxes now then now let us move to the important topic called startups the gst has tremendously benefited the indian startups with a perk like uh, diy compliance model increase the limit of registration your free flow of goods and services and the tax credit on purchases all these things are so beneficial for the new entrepreneurs and uh, people who, those who want to do business they are coming under this particular uh, tax system have increased that it has also become easier for the companies uh, with a pan india presence to calculate the tax especially if belonging to the e-commerce sector understanding the impact of gst on small scale industry if you are a part of this particular sector and finally let us uh, discuss the gst impact on self employed individuals the self employed or freelancing is a young industry in our country but uh, filing a tax has become easier as they fall under the service provider with the gst implementation understanding the impact of gst on micro small and medium enterprise msme is important for the those individual who are want to do the business the entrepreneurs engage in the hospitality sector and they should check out the impact of gst on hospital industry that is medical industry thus the gst comes to its set of pros and cons affecting both buyers and sellers either positive or negative way one must be aware of gst negative impact and gdp as well there is no need to uh, say only the positive effect once you know what are the negative effect also then it is easy for us to manipulate the things for uh, betterment of our well being so one side the taxes have become simplified and they have to lead a rise a uh, complaints of costs now let's move to the second uh, major implementation in india is demonetization and now we will 
discuss about its impact on indian economy the indian economy which has built the fastest growing major economy in the world and only bright spot among the emerging markets seem to have slowed down even before the latest shock therapy of demonization indeed the recently released growth figures of cso or the central statistics of uh, office considered to be the official department that releases projected that uh, actual growth figures apart from uh, reserve bank of india and the finance ministry hints the slow down in the economy even during the uh, first quarter before demonization has happened while this is indeed cause for the concern of the projected growth figures uh, revised downward from 7.6% to 7.1% for the financial year at the end of 2017 march what is the cause for greater worry and even along we are viewing about some economists including the former prime minister uh, dr manmohan singh who is a rep uh, reputed economist uh, he is a student of oxford university he have made a comment that uh, the current and ongoing attempt to flash back uh, to get back the black money for that the demonization has made which is good uh, 2% of gdp and gross domestic product he also made a positive comment about the demonization <coughs> indeed something uh, the tang of the research institute such as um, uh, ambit research have given even more uh, dire assessment of projection about the growth figures tending to be less than 3% range of course the consensus view among many economists is that while there would be india noticeable slowdown in the economy uh, quarter or two most of them uh, seem to agree that the growth would indeed bounce back and indian economy would regain its uh, momentum as well as turn around with a renewed sense of uh, vigorous uh, growth and the tax revenue will be generated having said that one must keep in mind that fact that uh, as per the recent estimates of uh, some economists uh, nearly 90% of the total cash of circulation will come back to the banking system it is so fortunate for india to implement such a beautiful uh, system called demonization cancelling the 500 rupees note and 1000 uh, rupees note this particular thing have made the economy little bit strengthened why because 90% of the uh, cash is received with the banking and now they uh, economically we are strong now of course the common man suffered a lot but uh, to somehow we have managed now we are in a strong position however a uh, flip side on this is to keep the bank have cut their deposit rates as well as which are natural considering that any cuts in the lending rates have to accompany it with the cut in the deposit rates also so this has resulted in a situation where the banks have enough deposit to seem to encouraging the spending more than savings and uh, this can indeed create a demand in the system since uh, more money with the consumer means more spending thereby leading to uh, inflation so this multiplier effect will also play around which is result in economic growth but along with the inflationary situation this is one side on the other side uh, more taxes being collected and a higher deposit with a bank will tax all these things make the repo rate is a different way the, the scrutiny of this particular system the income tax department find difficult to levy the tax because already we have uh, imposed a particular uh, system of tax called gst and demonization also made so uh, a sudden uh, this twin effect makes the indian economy little bit trouble for the next uh, two three quarters of uh, financial accounting this particular thing uh, we should keep in mind one of the advantage is the physical measure in this context it's a worth to remember that the uh, fiscal factors stimulate that lower the taxes and providing more incentive for the consumer as well as the producer to boost the supply and complemented and supplemented with the monetary stimulus and which in turn boosting the uh, demand for goods and services and 
there is a very low lending rate even the housing uh, interest rate is reduced the corporate interest rate is reduced repo rate is reduced so the circulation of money is more now and people are preferring more goods both physical and monetary measures is supportive to the system of course when demonization is introduced uh, for few months the common man suffered a lot but now the economy is getting stabilized the economic theory states both physical and monetary stimulus can be uh, implemented in isolation or taken together hence the demonization uh, is being uh, a catalyst for the economic growth having said that one must remember that india is primarily a cash transaction based economy and he, uh, it is nearly 86% of money circulation indeed because of the demand session within that particular quarter of that year uh, that is from uh, january to march of 2018 which made the indian economy to uh, the circulation of money is nearly 86% moreover there are uh some reports say, says the farming sector taking hit because of the lack of cash because the agriculture sector is suffered and there is a uh, very huge impact on automobiles and some capital comp uh, goods companies also uh, find difficult to uh, move with the working capital even though the circulation of money is more because people are not ready to invest in that particular uh, uncertain situation the stock market get affected so these are all the impact of demonization now with this basic idea now we will see which are all the positive impact and what are all the negative impact there are many words used for digitalization so this particular gst implementation and demonization implementation which is commensated with the digitalization because of this particular uh, policy digitalize india the economy is start improving not only with the developmental activities but also uh, with a uh, um, a number of uh, growth promotion is taking place for example uh, digital india digitalization digital world and people start using this particular word and they start making money first one should under we should understand one thing the difference between the digitalization and digitization there is a slight difference this is digitalization is one related to converting uh, all our data into a, a bit format but digitalization is used to different technology and methods that is innovation is taking place the change in the business process digitization and digitalization are two different thing one is how to improve the second one is how to innovate new things so india is not only concentrating uh, uh, the economic growth but also the innovative process in that particular thing we have to get ready for the future though there is a, a lot of uh, controversial statement and opinion against digitalization but uh, two words that are used interchangeably by many uh, digital methods to improve the business process the government have made a very clear statement in the next 10 years this is the target this is the road map and we have to reach this much so that particular road map have made the digitalization very successful in india fortunately we have unknowingly a part of digitalization in the last few years we have been a part of digital world also where we have touched the digitalized business process by using our day to day life think the activity that we are making even we are booking ride uh, reservation in online only we are buying the air ticket we are buying the bus ticket and we are making paper through credit card or debit card on all these things because of the nowadays we are taking class in online our class is now there is no physical class i am talking through zoom and uh, i am recording in a social media and you are seeing that so this digitalization policy of india only make us uh, comfortable and we are 
getting more information about it. The dissertation explained in a layman language is a, this is a layman definition for dissertation. We don't have to carry cash uh, for all payment. We can make through phone. There is certain factors which compels the following decisions in our routine life. People are not uh, carrying cash with them. Everybody is having a smartphone. The Android plays a vital role for digital India. So, which is responsible? Uh, the electronic field. Most of the payment made through electronic payment. According to the Apex Bank of Annual Report, that is RBA report, that says the real time grass settlement RTGS system has handled 124 million transaction valued rupees uh, 1167 trillion in 2017 and 18, and about uh, 108 million transaction valued rupees 982 trillion in the previous year. So at the end of the March 2018, this RTGS, that is real-time grass settlement, is right to 1,37,924 branches of 194 banks. So such a huge growth because of the digitalization. The another one is called NEFT system. This has handled 1.9 billion transactions valued around 132 trillion in the last year. And of course, uh, 1.6 billion transaction valued rupees 120 trillion in the previous year, that is 2089. So, this is the growth has happened because of the digitization. Everybody is very comfortable with the electronic gadgets and all the transactions taking place through electronic. And people are so comfortable in paying the electricity bill and even Zomato and other things. Everything is digitalized, right from eating food up to uh, education, everything is digital payment only. So the role of digitalization day by day is increasing, especially the digitalization with the banking sector in India play a vital role for economic development and economic growth. With a digital transaction, one needs to have a proper bank account and they should have an essential document. Bank are the part and parcel of day-to-day -day life. The bank includes ATM transaction, online payment, and any money transfer. Because of the digitalization of the process, the bank have saved the cost and customers' uh, time, uh, which are available benefits through ATM. Cashless transaction using by using different type of plastic cards like credit card, debit card. In the there are variety of cards. Today, banks are going to Going out with way adopt the latest technology so has to enhance the customer experience. Another marvelous example of digitalization is mobile banking, where the bank can then uh, all the activities taken place in through mobile. The features allow you to literally operate your uh, bank account from your mobile phone. The digitalization of banks has not only reduces the human error but also saved time. But it has a cashless transaction which may reduce the circulation of uh, fake currency. All this, uh, some benefit are there, but there is a risk. Those who are very knowledgeable, they may misuse. And uh, all of us, you know, because it is based on the software, people may hack that. Thereby leading a more number of positive impact in economy along with the, some negative impact also there because of the digitalization. Uh, one of the main reasons of improvement in uh, digitalization is demonization of 500 notes and 1000 notes because uh, most of them have deposited their money in the bank. So 90% of the total cash is received by the scheduled, non-scheduled banks and this uh, make the bank to improve better through digitalization. They can able to give better service to the customer and they are saving their time and energy with the banking transaction. And of course, the Nidhi IO, which uh, encourage the customer to produce the proper document and they'll have make the safe payment. The highest application of uh, digitalization is a mobile banking and the data are plenty. So, uh, what is the expected question 
from your uh, examination point of view is they may ask about the uh, mobile banking or what is the current status of digitalization so uh, because we are completing uh, more than half okay, i want to give an assignment so you people have to write one assignment on current status of digitalization in india you can use any uh, industry and you should say about the positive impact of digitalization negative impact of digitalization and what is the growth of digitalization in india with this i am winding the class and uh, what are the take away from this class is goods and services tax impact what is the impact of this particular gst on indian economy why demonization is implemented and how it, uh, it affects the indian economy whether it is positive or negative and uh, what is the current status of digitalization in indian economy these are the take away from this particular unit and uh, some of the keywords are uh sgst cgst and demonization digital india all these things you can expect two section b question and one section c question with this i am winding the class kindly go through the material and if you have any doubt you can ask me thanks for watching my video if you have any comment make it and with this we will see in the next class bye